Can you hear me? Hi. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. Yay. We already have everybody in the room. Okay. Welcome to Track Girl Summer. My camera's over here. Welcome to Track Girl Summer. I am your host, Natasha Hastings, and this is my co-host, Tori Carter. We're Track Girl Summer, and we're bringing the culture to track and field. Yes, yes. Track Girl Summer. Track Girl Summer. <laughs> I feel like there's a delay. <laughs> huh? There's a delay because we're not together. Oh, all right. Sorry. Well, it's okay. They're just going to have to deal with that. all the way up can you hear me can you hear better me? can you hear me okay all right well yeah. if you didn't hear i'm natasha hastings this is my co-host Corey carter and we're track girl summer and we are bringing the culture to track and field follow me natasha hastings on all the things twitter ig facebook youtube follow the Corey monster twitter ig youtube Facebook, and of course, follow Track Girl Summer. Today, we hit 100 subscribers on Track Girl Summer on YouTube. We need y'all to do us how y'all did us on Instagram. Get us up to 1,000. Get us in there so we can monetize the things. You see, we got some merch. Just a little this is tease. it, merch. Just a little tease. The merch is coming to you all. <laughs> um, so It's going to be super down line. We're talk still talking about one day we're gonna get merch. <laughs> we're trying to get back on schedule. Both Corey and I are in transition at the moment. If you follow me on social media, you know that I have moved. I won't tell y'all where I live just yet, but news coming soon. Corey, you know, is a busy person herself, but we're still trying to keep it coming to you all. And this weekend um was a burner. <laughs> So today we are here to talk to you all about, I got to not look at my computer screen and look at the camera. We're here to talk to you guys about Prefontaine Classic. Y'all have been in the DMs. Y'all have been hitting both me and Corey up. Both me and Corey been hitting each other up. Let's talk about it. Let's um, get into it. Well, first we're going to start off with, um, shout out to Rob for the $25 super chat. Yes. Rob. Thank you for the yeah. super chat. But let's get into the fit check. Um, I'm just giving like neutral overall. It's giving like, you know, Mario and Luigi's black cousin. It's giving Corey the hurdler, you know, knock off chance the rapper. Um, you know, some just some slight, some slight says dog mom because she's a mother. Mom. Yeah, and I'm just giving y'all a single black mom. <laughs> I just put my kid to bed. It's been a long day, okay? So I'm giving y'all the track girl summer uh, trucker hat. I'm not yeah. matching an uh, Under Armour hoodie. No, not. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to stand up and show y'all my shorts because the shorts are really short. But um, yeah, so... This is also giving. Did you ever watch The Water Boy with Adam Sandler? Yes, I did. You know I'm talking about the one guy that talked, but he wasn't talking. He was talking gibberish. No, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I do know what you're talking about. I you know what talking about? That's also what I'm giving. Mm -hmm. 46 people um, in here. Come on, share, hey. share, like, subscribe to Track Girl Summer, subscribe to Natasha Hastings, subscribe to the Corey Carter. I feel like we could get to 80 because all of y'all have moms. So if all of y'all touch your mama to get up on this live, we would be at like 80, no problem. But yes, yes. I'm going to um, put the mic down so that I can do some producer stuff, but take it away, Corey. Okay. Well, first of all, like we said earlier, Tasha just moved. She's not going to tell you where because, you know, some of y'all are trying to pop up. Um, our last on our last live, we went live on IG. Y'all were trying to come take Natasha out on a date. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't want y'all popping up at her place of business. Um, but like we said, we're committed to coming Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
we just don't know what time yet. We're figuring that out. <laughs> but like, we'll be here. We'll be here. Um, and then before we get into John Kane, I just want to talk a little bit about what's happening tomorrow, which is tomorrow's opening ceremonies for Paralympics, which I'm really excited for. And, you know, we're all about equality, fairness. So I think it's really dope that this is going to be the first Olympics that, or Paralympics that Paralympians are going to be paid um, the same for medals as um, Olympians, which I think is super dope. Um, shout out to Lex, shout out to, well, Scouts didn't make it this time, but I love Scout. Um, I love our Paralympians. Um, we used to do camp at Chula Vista, which I think is really cool at the tra Olympic Training Center because you, the Olympians and the Paralympians train together. And you kind of just get a glimpse into their world and how they are able to compensate and overcome and just honestly, I'm like, how, Corey, how are you complaining about practice or anything you do? Because they be out there getting the job done. Um, would you ever be a guide? I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. It seems like a lot of pressure. I know it's like a very selfless, selfless thing, you know, because you're just there to help, which I think is so cool. And it's the, and you also have to be so in sync with the person that you are guiding. Mm -hmm. So, oh, a little mini mic stand. Yeah, I'm I have a mic. It's not attached to me, I have but a like, stand. I just don't know where the attachment is. So this, here we are. I mean, I just don't have, I don't know where to put, but we can pretend. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, they are getting $37,500 for a gold medal now. Um, so apparently this is boosting compensation for some Paralympians by as much as 400%, which means like, what were you all play, paying the Paralympians before? Well, Dust. Well, the gold medal for the regular Olympics—I shouldn't say the regular Olympics—the gold medal for the Olympics <laughs> was twenty-five thousand dollars. So, this is an that went up too for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on. Previously, they were only getting seven thousand five hundred for gold. I knew I had my notes. You know, you know, I'm all about people getting their their bags, getting getting their money. Um, okay, Aisha, stop yelling at me. Yes, Natasha. It's funny to me because you have the actual setup. Like I'm literally just on my laptop. You've got like a camera setup and everything, and you're the one with technical. I know my my the quality of my uh, video isn't as sharp as yours, and I'm gonna get it together. Uh -huh. But I'm, I don't know what's going so on. Why the mic is? I'm. I'm. I need to get those. We need to invest in those. But the set is under construction. The set will be back. You guys loved our set. Don't worry. It'll I be have back. Many <laughs> All right. Back. Back to the script. Sixty people in here. Continue to like and share. Um, as a matter of fact, while Corey continues to talk, let me tweet and I forget who it was that got on us the last time and said, uh, y'all need to share on all your channels. And I was like, you right. But, uh, yeah. Help us, help us be better. Um, <laughs> uh, Anthony says you look like a mid 2000s rappers with that mic. Do you want to spit a few bars, Natasha? I wish Natasha's I could actually freestyle. Um, all right. <laughs> I'll I'll lay a beat for you real quick. Rob said, send these black women some money. I didn't put our cash apps up today. <laughs> wow, Natasha. We we um, haven't we, we still need to open our, our Track Girl Summer bank account. So we can't take Track Girl Summer donations. But we take super chats. We take cash apps. Zell. I don't do cash apps. I do I do Venmo. Um Cash App. <laughs> Liam. Liam says hi. Liam is one of the reasons why this live is so late. His butt just went to bed. Uh, not to Liam, my boy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into Prefontaine because 
so I was trying to be like, okay, like, let's just cut it down. And I ended up ha- having notes on every single event. But like, because as it they should were be. all because- star studded events. We didn't, I meant to put it in our notes here, but there were like so many medalists that were at Prefontaine. It was like the mini Olympics. Everyone said, let me go just pick up my appearance fee. Okay. Cha-ching. No one was like, no one was ready to go on vacation. And I also like that it was people came to run. It yeah. wasn't just like, oh, let me yeah. just get my little Olympic medalist, Olympic finalist, you know, check and just show up and be cute and then go on vacation. People were out there breaking records. Um, thank you. Thank you, Rob. I don't want to say that. Okay. He said cash up is a cricket of money exchange. It is for broke people. And I don't know if, if I, I don't know if I'm just called you broke, but I just don't like it. It's the ghetto. Um, did she just call me broke? <laughs> I called you. I called the app that you use broke. I am broke. I am a black single mama. So send her some money. Graduate student. Get in the gutter. Get a cash app and send it to them. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't trust it. It isn't for broke people, and it's not for ghetto people. I just I don't like cash app. All right, let's get into it. Let's talk about the 800. Okay, so first of all, I love seeing Kayla Whitney out there rabbiting. I, I, you know, it's my dream to be a rabbit for the 800. Um, no, specifically for Ajay, not the 800. Facts. Facts. (laughs) Baby facts. Um, so 54 19 is what they came through in. All right. Mm. And then the thing was just her. Her stride. They were saying that, like, oh, like the comments were like, yeah, you could really see her struggling, and I was like, where? She d- she didn't look as fluid the last two hundred. She did look like she was working a little bit harder than we've been used to seeing her. I thought. Um, I did also want to ask: Did anybody notice the pacer? lights around the track did anyone notice the green lights oh, yeah. going around the track i saw it that that's also supposed to be yeah. like the pacer i that'd be that'd be perfect for me for workouts could you imagine yeah, yeah. that would make my workout okay no but here's the thing is like okay maybe on her face you saw a little bit more discomfort but her stride like that thing was smooth and you can't tell me anything otherwise. I mean, um, she's yeah. out poetry in motion, but I i mean, it wasn't the smoothest race that I've seen of hers, but she set another American record, so. I mean, I don't think it's smooth. I need fast. But, um, yeah, she had like a, that a 30 meter, 30 meter gap mm-hmm. on the field, 155.04. That's a world lead. That's a PB. That's American record. Um, number nine all time. Um, and then she said, she was like, let me make it very clear. I'm done. And she's had an incredible season because I keep forgetting that she's been in college this she year, had a collegiate like season. doing the college indoor out, doing the four, doing the eight, Every doing the four by four. This girl's been working and she's, I'm surprised she came pre. She said, I'm done. I'm going on vacation. I'm yeah. going to be. She, she's well given deserved. us that. Well deserved. Given us that. Um, dope to see Kate. She's been running well um, ever since she didn't make the team. She's been killing in Diamond League. She got second and then Ghoul got third. It was, a, this is a good race. Um, hashtag team cash y'all are really going up for cash app i just they're talking about you your want. connection your connection is whack i look i apologize i said may, maybe my internet's ghetto maybe my internet's broke i can admit that um yeah i'm excited to see her like actually do a pro season yeah like See what she does on fresh legs. Same. Same, And then 
Guys, 70 people in here. I know it's late, but share, like, let's bring some folks to the party. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, like, if you're a little late to work tomorrow, it's all good. We're going to get there. Yeah. We're going to get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, the men's 800, that was a fun race. Um, you saw Marco erupt from Canada when he he ran 144.51. He didn't even make it to the finals of the Olympics. He got seventh in his semi and then came back and won against um, a really good at Hendrick Field. Like, the reigning world champ got second. Like, that's what you call a bounce back. <laughs> bounce back. Um, why did someone says the world, the 800 world record irks me? I hope she breaks it next year. Um, the Andrew world record is – that's going to be a tough one. I'm not saying she can't do it. I'm just saying you know who has it. I mean, anything's possible. I never dreamt of – I'm not going to jump ahead, but I never dreamt that in this lifetime I would see the women's 100 get that fast. And I think We're not there yet. We're not, I'm not going to go there, but I'm just saying. No, track I never field. thought I saw 51 four. I never saw, thought I, track you know, field is right. just, the, the, the sport is just going to places that, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um, all right. I know you guys want to talk about the time. So let's just, but we got to talk about, we got to give love everywhere. Um, shout out to Courtney. Shout out to Courtney, American record in the steeplechase. And I feel like I didn't think the women's steeplechase was going to be as hot as it was for the U.S. women with Steve, uh, Colleen being out, with my girl Emma being out. And Courtney said, it's about me this year. And she's the first woman under nine minutes. Or, sorry, first U.S. woman under nine minutes. So yeah. shout out. Shout out to her. Um, I love steeplechase because I claim it as a hurdle race. I like low key want to do one hurdle race just so I can be like, I've done all of them. But yeah. Um, Better you than me. That's, uh, I'm not saying I, it would be a fast time. I just say I want to try it one time just like to be like, I check that box. I hear you. I hear you. 79 people keep sharing and liking. Bring some more folks to the party. Is my mom here? Mommy, are you here? Is my mom here? And by my mom, I mean your mom. She adopted me. Don't ask if you just, uh, y'all, Tasha. I did. Been- I did. I had a long day, guys. I really did. We've had a long, we've had a long month, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um... The women's 1500. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Faith. First of all, let me just shout out Chanel Price for coming through in 204, rabbiting, looking very good the day before her birthday. I'm, you know, I love Chanel, Chanel Price. Walmart. Chanel like, is, a, a, is, has made, um, she's a pretty good rabbit. Like she rabbited, um, gosh. She rabbited a world record and like in Monaco a couple years ago, a few years ago. Um, but she's she's one of those that like whatever you ask her to go out in, she's gonna hit it like spot on. So like she's yeah. Yeah. So happy birthday to my girl. She's just like a sweetheart. But anyways. Team Lee, um Dababa, yeah, Dababa's world record. She she rabbited Dababa. I just The gap, the gap between Faith and the rest of this field was disgusting. I threw up in my mouth a little bit. When I saw that she was going into the bail lot with about 90 meters on the field and like to push yourself with no one, not even, no one even like, you can't hear no footsteps and to keep pushing. Claudette, this is also true. Rabbits do make pretty good money. Yes. Get your get your bag. 
there was six seconds between her and second place. I just, what? This is why my self-esteem could it could not, I could not be a distance runner. I'm coming around the turn with seven, or sorry, not seven, with 500 meters to go, and this girl is 90 meters ahead of me? I mean, distance runs just aren't for me, period, so. It's purely my eagle. They said, will you be rabbiting after retiring? Nah. <laughs> I don't think I can rabbit a good age. You have to, here's the thing, you, ha- you still have to like be in very good shape to rabbit these girls because they want to a four. Please. Please. Um, and we kind of saw the same kind of gap between the field in the men's 1500, or sorry, in the men's mile, sorry, the Bowerman mile. Um, Oh, we did that race for, for Prefontaine. Yeah, they always make sure, like, that's hard. But it was basically him and the sec- uh, Jacob, I can't say his last name, um, but the 20-year-old gold medalist from Norway. Um, it was him and the second place finisher, uh, Stuart, Stuart McSwain. Um, but they had at least 60 meters, 50, 60 meters on the rest of the field in the home stretch. Um, and here, Jacob ran... 347.24. That was a world lead, a national record, a meet record, a diamond league record, and a PB for him. Like, the number. <laughs> yeah, his his strength at the end is is nasty. Um, the two mile, they were sprinting at the end. Like, Paul really, Paul Ch- Chalimo really tried to get that. He almost got second place. He had a stupid kick. Like, the last 200 meters was insane, and it was a photo finish in a two-mile. He ran 809.83, and Borrego ran 809.82. Uh, and then Joshua Chip. I need to learn how to say names. That's going to be my new goal. Chip the gay? Yeah. He ran a world lead, one, uh, 809.55. Um, but... In the distance races, I just feel like there was good racing. Well, there's always good distance racing at Prefontaine. I mean, Prefontaine. But I feel like the two, the two mile, like the other distance races, I feel like it was kind of a blowout. But this was actually like, you got to um, see some battling. Like, it was racing. Um. Next, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about the field events, which I am upset about because NBC. I understand that you have a like time schedule you gotta keep, but I'm gonna need to see the field events. It's track and field; they go together. It's not an afterthought. It's not like you put peanut butter down, you put jelly down, you make a sandwich. You don't put peanut butter down and then after the fact you sprinkle in just like a just a, just a dollop of jelly. You need both. Do. You know, we you only put a dollop of jelly. I don't like too much jelly. Come on, stay on stay on topic. Stay on topic. This is why you can't this is why you're not allowed in the kitchen. 80 people in the room, guys. I know it's late. Keep sharing and liking. Keep bringing some folks to the party. And especially when the field events are fielding. Like, they, they were out there doing their oh, thing. The field like, events are showing out right now. Yeah. Shot yeah. put going off. Pole vault going off. High jump. The high jump? The high jump was a battle. They they did Bash like eighteen jumps. Bash, I took sixteen, took eighteen jumps. Yeah, they both took eighteen no, jumps. Bash, I took sixteen jumps. Um, Aretta took eighteen. They were going back and forth. So what happened was in the high jump. What happened in the high jump was 
they basically had to have a jump off. This bar started at, started at two meters and they kept going down until 194. Even though they both made it over 198, they went back down to 194. They took like, I don't know anything about high jump other than the fact that I did it in like middle school, but the amount, like to be that explosive 16, 18 times, that's endurance that like that's a work and you're running like you want to jump so you're like that's a workout 18 after the olympics and they took two of the jumps sorry after the olympics <laughs> and they showed two i'm upset i just because here's the thing you could play your commercials while having like a picture and picture of the field events, right? It's fine. It's not fine, but like, whatever. Um, Ryan Croucher in the shop put basically was like, I do this. Y'all know this. I invented the shot put. He, his, his shortest throw of the day was 2237. He was the only person over 22 meters. His shortest throw of the day would have won. His longest throw was 23-15. Oh, it's a meet record, a diamond league record. Someone said that peak on his knee I hate y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, I just, I don't like the sudden death. Like Joe Kovacs, he, he found his sixth throw. So he got third place. Um, even though he threw faster, it threw faster. He threw farther than the second place finisher. I still feel like, um, I mean, I understand why you don't like it, but I mean, it's, it's like trials and finals. Like you can run 10, eight in the semi, but if you come back and run 11 flat and somebody else runs 10, nine, then you're not the champ. Okay. My question is though, right. Is like, I think it's different because especially in the throws, it's like, you want to see big throws on the last throw. Right. But you got, which do you want to be conservative? Yeah, You got six it, times um, to get it right. We got one no, on the track. So now they've lessened it to the sudden death, make it to the like final. It. And then you got one shot. Yes, I want to see, see big throws on, on the last throws. On I want, so, so big throw it. I only got one shot to run fast. I think it's I think it's different because there's not like the possibility like I the think likelihood is just you don't like change. Yeah, I don't like change. You know this. <laughs> I don't like it. Whatever. We know this. Um <laughs> I'm just saying, I only have one shot. It don't matter what I did. Well, the, it it you it don't matter what you did in the semi. Well, speak, speaking of one, one shot, let's talk about this this triple jump because wait, Pedro. Rob, Rob wait, hold on. Rob's <laughs> taking me to Tasha. Seven, Natasha, that's a bad analogy. That would be like you starting the four hundred, and if you aren't in the top three by the two hundred, they kick you off that track. No, that's that's not a good analogy. Because I still have to run the complete 400. I, I, I like, he has I to complete like the throws. Good try, though. Good try. <laughs> I still love you, though, Rob. 84 people in the room. Keep sharing and liking. All right, what's Why next? 83? I'm, I'm about to walk out on you. Um, Why? But making it work on the last throw. Let's talk about this men's triple jump. Because Pedro Pitaro went 17-24 to make him to sell it Sunday. He fouled the second throw or second jump. He fouled the third jump. He fouled the fourth jump. Fouled the fifth jump. Got got the sudden death jump and won the sixth jump with uh, seventeen sixty three. Last one, best one. He said, "I need one to get in, one one to win." Um, and shout out to Donald Scott. He um, jumped seventeen oh three, and I think that's his highest um diamond league finish so i'm just i'm happy for him i'm happy for him he has a, i know like i told you before like i just love his little family um and then oh did he foul or did he pass him? i 
actually wouldn't know because, you know, they weren't showing the jumps. So I only saw what I saw. And then in the women's pole vault, Katie showed y'all why she's Olympic champ. She won that thing. Um, and, you know, the U.S. in pole vault is doing really well. Holly Bradshaw yeah. got four sets at 72 for second. But then Olivia Gruger from the U.S., got third and Morgan Lewis Romero got fourth. Um, it's weird to see Katarina Stefanini, um, the Rio Olympic champ to no mark. Um, shout out to Katarina though. She was, she's my forever captain. She was my captain at Stanford. Um, you guys were at Stanford together? Yeah. I've told you this like several times. Mm, I'm going to be listening to you. You call the Greek goddess. You never listen to me. They believe oh, he passed. He passed. My bad, then, guys. You know what? Like, let me let me live. Um, you want to talk about these hurdles? You want to talk about four hundred hurdles? I'll let you talk about four hundred hurdles. Yeah, I mean, Dalila did what Dalila does. The gun went off. She did easy, and I know she's on fifty one, but fifty two is still stupid. But yeah, she got out, broke the stagger immediately. I mean, that's that's just I mean- her style. On Shamir. But that's that's just her running style. That, her style. that is her style, but like Shamir isn't like chopped liver, you know, like she I just Well, I mean she, but also Dalila ran fifty two seven and Shamir ran fifty three seven. So I mean she was a clear second ahead yeah. of the field, which in a sprint, a second is a huge margin. Um, I feel like she needed to run faster. I feel like she just was choppy, and maybe it is because she felt Delilah on her, so she wasn't running her race, you know? But she just looked tight, you know, and choppy. Yeah, but uh, Dalila set a meet record in 52.77, and then Gianna Woodruff also came in third, which is her highest Diamond League finish. She's also um, Dalila's training partner, um, and she set... The South American record in PB, but we don't have the time here. Sorry. Sorry, Gianna. I just, uh, I think she ran 54 something. Don't quote me. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's always cool to see your tr- like training partners of people who are great, doing great. Because I was like, if you're training with Delilah every single day, like, I see the worst that that working for you. Day. She ran 54-20. Uh, Thank you, guys. Um, do we I know why Sydney, Sydney wasn't there? I was wondering this, too. Okay, so did you see Sydney's post today? I didn't. I You sent it to me. I didn't have time to watch it. Okay, so it was like a 10-minute video of her. Like, it was it was really, it was sad. She was crying, and she filmed it three days after breaking the world record. And she basically was just saying, like, her support system wasn't where it needs to be. And, you know, she, I feel like she feels like she is, you know, trying to glorify God and everything that she's doing, but she's just been having a really hard year, even though she feels like she's been doing everything right. She's been, you know, not enough for the people around her. So I feel like she, after saying that, it makes sense why she wasn't free. It's like, I did the things I had to do, which is like make the team go to the Olympics. But I think she just was like, and this is me speculating. She might just been like, I need a break. You know, you don't have to go to free. Um, but it was, yeah, it was very heartbreaking because I feel like this year more than ever has been a display of like why mental health is so important and how you can be at the top of the world, but still really well. Yeah. Yeah. Without watching it, but listening to that, it sounds like she had the year of her life, but couldn't enjoy it. So that's heartbreaking. Um, yeah and I think it's also important to like have the right people around you and I think it's hard because she mentioned a lot of the people that she felt like wasn't there in the way that she needed to be there was her actual family and you can't really pick your family but I think it's like I don't know it's I think it's why it's important to set boundaries especially when you're in the space that we're in but it's interesting I'm gonna have to go back and uh listen yeah, I think I think Teammates I told her she's only popular because she's light skinned. Oh, that's not good. 
that's not cool. Yeah, I think that she said that in the video too. She said that in the video. She said that like she feels as though people feel that she's in the position that she's in because of like the, how like she is and like the amount of followers she has and like she wants respect for what she does on the track and like i think both of I'm, those things can exist at the same time and i i don't think i think being a pretty girl with a following does not negate what does not and cannot negate what she did on, on the track, the track. I think, so, um, what I'm, what I want to say is like, what she does on the track is what she does on the track and like respect all the way down. Like I'm in her, like I'm in her event. I know what, I don't know what 51 feels like, but I know the type of work that it takes to get to that respect all the way down. What I will say is that being pretty, being light skinned, having a following off the track does is helpful. help. Yeah. Is I'm not saying that is why she is successful off track at all. What I'm saying is that like there is a privilege that goes along with that. Like, there's a packaging that goes along with that. Because as amazing as Simonia was, she wasn't getting deals left and right like that. And image has a lot. And, it, and it's not and it, this has nothing to do with Sydney at all. It has well, so everything to do with the society that we live in and where women can't just be ballers right like we also have to be pretty and like in this package you know i, I to that i say i mean i i i guess i've kind of struggled with that sometimes too where it is like oh you're the pretty light-skinned girl and and i acknowledge that that is a privilege that i have but one thing that I always say is that I will not rest on that, right? Yeah, like, and I, don't I am that at here all. because I deserve to be here. I am here because mm -hmm. I'm qualified to be here, and I will show and prove all of those things to you. And I think Sydney has done that ten times over. So again, yeah, sure. uh, it breaks my heart to even hear that you know that she's, that is something that she's battling. But it's very, it's very, very valid, and I could see how that um would be affecting her yeah i think i don't but i i don't think like i think it is a problem in our society but i don't think we put that on sydney's doorstep you know what i'm saying right. like, like you benefit from i don't know the Bisu, society. yeah be so I, like, I don't know how true this is yeah. that sydney delivered the other one didn't and kept getting the attention i i don't <laughs> I don't know that I agree with that, but um, are you saying Delilah didn't deliver? Yeah, because I, I think <laughs> while I think <laughs> that <laughs> right, and that that's the point that I'm getting ready to make. That while I think that all of those things that Sydney and again I haven't watched it, but just going off of this conversation, all of those things that she said is very valid. However. Up until this yeah. year, Dalila was the world record holder. And while she was the world record holder, we've talked about it here on the Sydney show. And so I think that's some of what's carried over into what Sydney is probably dealing with. And I again, I think it's valid. I, I do think that that's a tough thing to have to go up against and to, you know, bear the brunt of. But we've said it here on the show. Dalila was the reigning Olympic champion, world champion, world record holder. And yet we were still talking about Sydney and not talking about Dalila as though she wasn't the world record holder. So I think it's true. Yeah, can I say something? Say it. Um, and it, followers and, and, and me in height, you saw the same thing in the women's hundred. We weren't talking about the reigning Olympic champion going to free. We getting ahead of ourselves, but yeah. I'm, but I'm saying this is a who was the pre? What I'm saying is Lolo. Oh, I was shut up. A hundred people in the room, y'all. 
keep sharing and keep liking. Oh snap, I gotta change my battery. Go ahead. But I also talking. don't think it's fair to be like I don't think it's also fair to be like, oh, you only got to where you were because you're light skinned. It's not fair at all. Because mm, she didn't light skin her way to fifty one four. I just, I feel like we can give Sydney her flowers and give her all the attention that she deserves. I think everything that Sydney has, she deserves. I, but I do think there is space for other athletes to get their dues. And I'm not saying Sydney's taking up all the space. I'm saying the powers that be only tell one story. And we'll get, we have that on our thing to talk about. We won't get into it. (laughs) But yeah, it was heartbreaking to watch this girl cry on camera and just be hurt. She's hurt in a time when she should be celebrating, in a time when she should be happy, in a time when she should be, you know, in Dubai on a yacht. (laughs) I agree. I agree. Um, I just think there is space for the not so stereotypical. I don't want to say that because Delilah is gorgeous hands down. Delilah is high fashion. You know what I'm saying? Did you see the Skims? um... Like campaign every time i every time i i get in my in the race and i'm just like all right guys like i look like and i'm not i don't have self-esteem issues clearly but when i'm like standing next to Lil, i'm like all right like you really could be out here on someone's runway same with sydney all of them yeah yeah all right but I will say Dalila is a Ford model. I believe I believe that's correct. Dalila is a Ford model. Good. Um Natasha is not married. Natasha is a single mother. Cash at me. 400 meter diva. He's got this. He's got this. This is a this is a ring. I don't know. Um Oh, that's this this is my um my Rio ring. Okay. I you know, since I moved, I had to like check all my valuables. So I was like, "Oh, let me wear this for a little while." Okay. That's what that is. I am wearing it on my ring finger, though. And this is the ring my mom got me. Um, I just feel like this is only a problem. It's not only a problem, but it is definitely a much bigger problem with women athletes. Um, because when guys ball they get to shine and when women ball it's also like well what do you look like there's a reason why uh, the top women's sports is tennis track volleyball aka the the sports were worth showing the most skin Rob, if you were straight but i don't you know. too Robin, I knew I like Rob for a reason. Okay, let's get um, let's get. Into- I didn't I didn't see the comment. Comment again. A thing is a stunning. She's not pretty. She stunning. is stunning. She I. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um. All right, what let's get in. Next? I, I, I lost track. So we <laughs> we went way um, off script. <laughs> right into today. The men's 200. Um, I was so excited to see Noah Lyles be Noah Lyles. Like, I felt like that was the guy we wanted to see. And um, he ran 1952 for the world lead. And he just looked like he was having fun and like 
that moment where he was hugging his brother after the race was just it warmed my little spot where my heart should be. Um, oh, and his let's his, his where his, it should be. Dead inside, we know this. You know that. Okay. Uh, his his kit was so cute. With it had like the anime um, imagery from that really cute uh, ad he had with Adidas. Did you, have you seen that like little like comic he has with Adidas? Mm-mm. Where are you, Natasha? I don't really um, know. Is, I'm a school uh, mom in school, he, working, training, like. It was, this was, this was weeks ago, but, um, yeah, it was great. It was cool to see Ryan Benjamin step down to the, to the 200. He has little shades on. He came in fifth. He looked good coming off the turn, but I just think he was, was, them boys are running, but he was in a, he had, he was in, in with some heavy hitters. So where should it, where should it be? Where should, oh, um sorry i'm trying to read the um someone said michael norman is the male version of sydney just without the credits they hype him up every day, but he never delivers i wouldn't say he never delivers but i do think i think he's had a, co- a rough couple well a rough year and every now and again you're entitled to it yeah especially hold on we just had an interview with kendall ellis let's remember how my michael norman was training for the last year on the streets yeah with next to horse on horse tracks next to horses like they were hopping fences to try to get on tracks like and still figured out how to make a team the hardest team to make my michael norman lived um anything else you want to talk about the 200 um this men's hundred this men's hundred my boy degrasse i think uh, he just came out of the games just confident like you could just see like the change in his or I shouldn't say the change, but like the level of his that. swag and like he was just like, I'm taking this race. Fred. Hottest girl of the summer. <laughs> Hottest girl of the summer, Fred Curly. It's hashtag Fred Curly, hashtag phase phase nine, hashtag business is booming, hashtag um, what does he say? Hard work is easy work. Um Shout out to Justin Gatlin, almost 40 years old, 993, sixth place. He was in fourth for probably about 80 or 90 meters. Um, this is the only race where I wrote down every single. <laughs> I wonder why. Because it, it was like this lineup. <laughs> we are looking good. Like. Michael Norman snuck in there with a 990. Like, Trey Ronald, 86. Mm -hmm. Isaiah got eighth with 998. Okay, can we? This isn't a bad time. Craven ran 1009. Here's what I'm going to say. Okay. What are you gonna say? Cole? Because I feel like this, I feel know. like this race was a display of like the, the depth of the U.S. men's sprints, right? Mm, mm. And I feel like oh wait, it was a two point nine win. Did we know that? Oh, well, that's making things sad. And I'm not. This is not an attack on Trayvon. This is an attack on whoever is the men's. Four by one. I'm still not over the men's four by one. Whoever that coach was, and they still don't want to name themselves. But I'm just saying, like, Fred Girl Summer merchandise available soon. 
coming soon. You gotta put a dog as the anchor leg. Like you gotta put a dog on the anchor leg. And I'm not saying Kriwan's not a dog. I'm saying he's transitioning to be in the pros and now he's with the big dogs, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm gonna stop. I'm just, I just, I, I will never understand did what you, the heck happened. Did you watch his, um... I didn't, you watched it. I couldn't watch yeah. it. I just didn't do it. Yeah, I watched it from start to finish. What I thought was interesting, um... Can you explain what you watched? He didn't really say anything that wasn't true. Time out. She's talking about Craven did a reaction <laughs> to the four he did a reaction one. video to the four by one. Yeah, yeah. Which shout out to Craven. <laughs> you got a good YouTube channel over there. We could use some pointers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um also shout out to all one hundred of you in here. Keep hitting that like button, sharing, bringing some more fo- some more folks to the party. Subscribe to Track Girl Summer. Um and I'm not saying I don't see it for Gravon. I'm saying, like, what I'm saying is he is a young buck and that he, you put him in a position where you should have put a vet. Yeah, yeah. I think hands down a vet should have been in that position. Um, That's what I'm saying. His, his, his reaction video, um, honestly, although he didn't say anything that wasn't true, um, he commented on you know, lead off, not breaking the stagger, Fred having to adjust the stick, all of the things that we talked about that like added up to, um, you know, the men not making the final. It's just, I don't know. It just didn't, it wasn't a good look because it was like, dang, bro, you throwing your teammates under the bus. Well, here's it's the thing. true, but. Well, here's the thing is, your ankle leg is supposed to be like, yeah, all that stuff happened and I still got the job done. I'm going to figure out a way to get the job done. And, but I, and that's why I say you need a vet there. Yeah. Cause then he also said like, we got four, three, nine, eight guys on the team. We should have been in such and such position and they weren't in such and such position. So yeah, Kenyana Hill, he did. That's why I said he didn't say anything that wasn't true. When I was listening to it, I was like, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. But I, I, I don't know that I well, would have turned around and roll and hand off to those same guys. If I was Craven, I don't know that I would have done that. But I'm also here on Track Girl Summer being shady, and I couldn't have told you five years ago that I would do this. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I have to be honest. I don't think I don't that he understand. said anything that wasn't true. I just don't know that it was. Yeah, this dude really thought he didn't have to do anything on anchor. Just wild and delusional, along with his face. I mean, I mean, if I mean he thought he had three nine eights coming behind him. So if I thought, I mean. As 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 my, my thing is like that's not the mentality I want for my anchor. That, that that's a fact too. That's a fact too. That's a fact. It's a fact. That's a fact. And maybe it's because I like for me. I like being anchored because I was like, it don't matter what happens. If we lose, it's on me. I don't I like having getting that, the like, stick in second. I would, I'm going to have to watch that again. I don't, I don't feel like, I feel like he was pretty far. I think he was in fourth when he got the stick. I feel like he was in a position. You know what? This woman's 200. Um, then she's to carry in the 200. We're going to, I don't, should we talk about the hundred first and then go to the two hundred or no? Let's talk about the two hundred because the hundred is going to take up some time and I I want to go to bed. We said this was going to be an hour. Snap. We're already at fifty five minutes. And we have it. Okay. Um. Oh, he was in third. I thought he was in fourth, but if y'all say he was in third, I'm gonna take your word for it. He was in third, and we he finished. He was in the mix, like he was in a plate. And we didn't make the final. I 
and you have to let it go for it, for your peace and your solitude. Do you want to talk about this 200? Um, Who doesn't want to talk about the 200 in DC? Um, <laughs> yeah, because they did, they did Kambuji. I mean, there's a meme out there where Kambuji was ready for her post-race interview. Her Lewis Diamond League the- win, 2206. No, 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 no Lewis. <laughs> Keep the push. Get I to mean, that on a flow track or somebody. And first of all, let me just say, I watched the track meet with my mom, as I usually do. I also should say, this is the most that I've enjoyed watching track and field. Like, I've never, mm-hmm. while I'm competing, enjoyed watching track and field. But these days, I'm like, I'm into it. But my mom loves Kambuji. Anytime Kambuji gets on the track, my mom's like, there's my girl. She loves Kambuji. Uh, 2206. Gabby Thomas. Gabby Thomas came through with like a charge for like the last like 60 meters. She finished second in 2211. Dina Asher Smith. Um, I'm a bit miffed. I'm a bit miffed. 2219. Um, but I'm trying to understand how she and and Dina's my girl. I love to see her on the track. I think she's a running Barbie doll. Doesn't she have a Barbie doll? Can you guys see my Barbie doll back there? I need to get her Barbie doll. That's Ifti Haj Muhammad, the fencer. But I need Dina's Barbie. But um I'm trying to understand how she had to scratch from the Olympics two hundred, but came back for the four by one and then was able like I don't know. I've I've had some hamstring issues where it's like if I'm out, I'm out. But I guess I think she probably had time to get it worked on for I the four by one. Especially if it's a I had a like I had strains before where it's like I need a few days. And if she was and if she was thinking, I want to make sure I'm there for my country for the four by one. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I would do it because I'm selfish. And I'm also delusional. Right. In that That's I, what I'm saying. Like, That's why I was like, I'm miffed. Because I'm, like, I'm like, if I can run, I can run. But I think it takes a level of maturity to be like, I know exactly how much. Like, yeah. And like, if I'm, I'm going to make sure I, I'm not sure if I can make it to the, because she could probably have gone through the ra- rounds of the 200, but then eventually her hamster would have been like, I got it no more. And then, for her to be like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I have everything for the four I won. But she looked good. Oh my gosh, she looks so freaking good. She always looks so pretty. All right, let's. Name let's... Ugly track girl. I dare you. Name one. Name one what? Ugly track girl. You can't. All right. Let's get into the hot topic. Y'all did this. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, Kiri is confident. And but let me tell you something. The amount of confidence and delusion you have to have in order to tell yourself that I am the fastest woman in the world. <laughs> like when you watch watch the men's hundred, watch the men's hundred, and, and they all have their little like I do this and then I do this, but I do like they all hype themselves up because you have to tell yourself I'm the fastest person walking this planet, right? And also, like, I don't know if I was getting a million followers for for talking my mouth, I might feed into that too. But she y'all get million followers for talking or for smoking. And let me be clear, I'm not hating. I think that, and I said this on our Instagram live the other day, I wasn't expecting what we saw, but I said the girl cannot lose. No, you said win. Here, no, no, no. I'm going to tell you exactly what you said. You said win, lose, or draw, Shakiri wins. I said the only way she loses is if she gets blown out. And I, I, wasn't, I wasn't predicting that. I was just saying that's the only way she loses. Damn now... I hate myself for being, I wasn't right because I, I, I specifically said I don't think that's going to happen. I thought she was going to do better. I just said it's the only way, like, she doesn't win the court of public opinion. Yeah. And then 
but what I'm saying is, and I'm not saying y'all. Before before we even get into this though, I wanna I wanna like stop because I feel like we're talking too much about and no shade. Yeah, okay, you're, not, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Fifty four. When I saw that clock, first of all, the gun went off, and Shelly and Fraser Price Ooh. with that mommy rocket start that like she's just known for. Like she came out and was like, boom, <laughs> like well, was right there with her. Come get me. And Elaine had to come get her. 1054, 1073, and then 1083. Obviously, we haven't seen a race this fast overall I, I, because Flojo's 1049. She was a city block ahead of the rest of the, the field. Them Jamaicans <laughs> did not come to play with nobody. Matter of fact, they were so serious. They just came out in yellow and black. They didn't even have on a Nike kit. Did you catch that? Right. Did you catch that? <laughs> they were nice like, kinda- Never in my life did I think in my lifetime that I would see 1054. Like Elaine is on that world record. Knock, knocking on the door. Can I, can I say something? We're going to get back to the Jamaicans, but I need to say this about my training partner. I don't train with her because she's Tiana, bad, Tiana, Tiana. When are you, when are you her going her to her respect, flowers. When are you put respect on her name? When are, when are y'all going to do that? Because first of all, first of all, she's, she like, she is the American hope in the sprints. She's the only woman to make the Olympic final from the, from the U.S. The 2019 only woman as well. 2019 the, as well. World final, right? She she is the one delivering. She drank in eighty three. Out out of lane one. Let's 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 first of all let let's. She didn't even feel the race. Out. Now, so, I she wasn't hold even on. A- <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if anybody in here, I'm sure, I'm sure people in here follow the real deal track and field in um on Facebook. And John Drummond said there was an Oreo cookie in the middle of the track, right? <laughs> but Tiana Daniels, my folks in here who follow the real deal track and field know what the Oreo cookie was. But Tiana was out there in lane one by herself not feeling that oreo and ran 1083 okay give her her flowers and i feel like she doesn't get the credit she deserves at all and and i and i know i'm biased but like mount stack they didn't mention her as the reigning u.s champ olympic trials they barely talked about Tiana. And it's just like. Tiana has merch. Can we plug it real quick? What is she selling? She does have merch in her, her. She has she has a really cute logo. Um, Shout out to my moderator, Aisha. Always on, on it. Fan. Always on it. I think it's on FanFest, but it's, in, it's on fanarch.com. And if you just go to her Instagram, it's in the bio, link in bio. Support a black woman. Um, send a black woman some Send Tiana Daniels specifically some money today. Um, it just, it just doesn't sit right in my spirit that y'all ain't, that y'all ain't standing for Tiana Daniels. Because the receipts say that she's the American hope. But, you know, Ooh. and this is, and that has nothing to take away from charity. Sure would. She doesn't look like, you know, she's been. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't think she carries invincible. I think she's young. I think she's young with a bunch of attention on her. And I think she's young, but I also feel like if we continue to positively reinforce bad behavior, and I I will sit here and say, I enjoy the spiciness. (laughs) I've said it a million times. What do you, what do you, what do you, um, 
this is what I'm working on. What are you defining as bad behavior? Because if if it's the smoking weed, I think everyone in the track community will You smoke no. weed and then you are served a ban and then the world rallies behind you because they feel like your ban is um, ridiculous, which let me say, I went somewhere on Saturday after the meet and this Joe Blow off of the street, don't know nothing about track and field, was convinced that she was wrongfully punished. But you've done this thing that you've taken accountability for. You, we, We've said that a million times. She served her 30-day ban. But who serves a ban and out of the ban gets a commercial, a million followers, political uh, pundits backing her. E- Elaine Thompson is the fastest woman alive. She's not getting those those uh, you know, you you I you, think you drop a, a s bomb on a live interview, like. To some extent, like, and I've said it again, I enjoy the spice and the the world stopped to watch Sha'Carri Richardson run. The world wasn't yeah. worried about Elaine and Shellyanne and Sharika coming out. The world stopped to watch Sha'Carri. Let's be very clear about that. And I enjoy it. Like, However, like, we, are, it like- we are positively reinforcing bad behavior. I think and that we gotta be careful because world, I think that the, the girl is being used, and I don't I don't want to see her, you know. I think the world is falling in love with potential and personality, and it needs to care about performances. And here, here she carries she carry on a single world or Olympic medal, and not just that she's literally never won a race with other sub ten eights sprinters in it has lost them all but what i here's the thing it's like i feel like we're dealing with with fans of shakiri and not track fans and so there's this ignorance that shakiri fans come to the track with because if you really sat down and thought about it like if you really went that's through why the I lineup say i think she's you, being used uh, if you went, went down the lineup right of who was in that field, right? Mm-hmm. You had Olympic medalists, you had world leaders, you had US champions, you had world champions, right? Pretty much everyone in that field had a title on the professional level, except for Shakiri. Mm-hmm. Right? And I'm and that's no diss to Shakiri. What I'm saying is, is like that's why I got here and said, Y'all did this. It's like y'all really sat down and thought that she was like. And I'm not saying that she didn't have doesn't have the potential to win this race, but it wasn't like, oh, this is a guaranteed thing. Like, like I said, like you're running with big dogs. And and that's why I said in our last live, I'm interested to see how she does going up against professional and and yes, she did trials, she ran well, but trials that stripped away. What I'm saying is it's it's easy to run your race when you run it when you're running against nobodies. Mm-hmm. It's when you have to go head to head with someone and you t- come out and they're with you and you make a move and they're with you still and you make another route and they still haven't gone anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and for a lot of people, they 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 took followers and was like, "She carries them with this race." hands down while you had know, someone I don't even know if they believe that and that's why I say that I think that she's being used because you used know, by who? from the Nike 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 we all know that Nike will tell you oh we can't use you in marketing you need to win medals you need to do this she's done none of that how many times did that commercial run during the Prefontaine Classic how many times and so this is why I say we are positively reinforcing a situation that, and, and let me also be clear, right? Nice because I they're, went, they're, they're a business. And that's why, that's why I also say that she is being used. 
because <laughs> we can sit here and say that we and I, I I say it all the time. I enjoy the spiciness. The world stopped to watch her run. But if the standard for everybody else is you've got to win medals, you've got to do this and that before we give you this and that. But you give her this and that because she's got the Twitter fingers. She's, you know, she's got the world behind her. I Listen, I say it all the Can time. I, I don't sip the Nike Kool-Aid. Nike is a genius at marketing. We've seen this before, though. Period. Okay. We've seen this before, though. With who? We already talked about it. Who? In the what? <sighs> Don Harper won a gold medal and everyone was talking about Lilo Jones. Oh, yeah. But that, I mean, that wasn't. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. She had the social media following. She was the, she but was the so one. Before again, the- we continue to positively reinforce things that where does it end up getting you? And and that's not to say like cool. I love Lolo. Lolo is laughing to the bank <laughs> on all of us, okay? Cool. But it 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 Here's the thing. I think we all wanted to believe that Shift Gary was gonna bounce and like she hadn't even though she hadn't won anything on a pro level, right? Like she had she had done like up until that point, all the challenges that she's had, she's done pretty well, you know? Yeah. Um, this is the first time she's faltered. And so it'll be interesting to see, like, do people still, does Nike still rally for her? Does she do? Does, well, they're going to continue, continue to rally for her because as long as she has the followers and she's bringing in the dollars, of course. But, but my thing is, is like, and, what and I let, let's be clear that's not bad listen if you're no, winning <laughs> if you're winning the dollars like we all out here trying to eat so let me be clear about this also i ain't hating okay i'm not hating on the girl <laughs> reaping the benefits of whatever but i'm just saying we also created this beast i think she brings what track and field used to be in that like she's bringing the flow she's bringing, bringing when we i was just watching our interview with sandra farmer patrick and she was like when i would win i would you know twirl my skirt around and throw it into the crowd it's like she's bringing that performance in 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 engaging people and like i think even, even me like i went viral for not smiling at the line because I I didn't I'm when I'm on the track I'm here for business I'm not here to like I'm here to entertain you but I'm not here to like mm-hmm. engage with you I'm here for work you know and Shakiri gives herself in a way that people fell in love with um, and does I that also make want to be clear too active? right because if we go back and listen to her interviews again she hasn't well, said uh-huh. anything that isn't true. Or anything that as athletes, we don't tell ourselves, right? We we walk off the track and we have a bad race yeah. and we're like, this was just a bad race. Don't count me out. I'm still going to do it. I'm still this and that. I, Y'all are yeah. just not used. We're just not used to a woman and a black woman at that saying those things. And I also want to mention that I, there is I, an interview read of out what her. Said? There is an interview of her giving credit to Elaine and Shelly yeah. and the rest of them but we're not talking about that so I do want to be she clear said, that like it's a lot of it is in the presentation and the fact that we're not used to seeing women speak that way um but she ain't really saying nothing true nothing untrue or nothing that we don't say to ourselves she's just saying she said, it on camera and on Twitter <laughs> she said coming out today was a great return back to the sport I wanted to be able to come and perform. Ooh, Having a I'm month off on the comments. Sorry. News on. Okay. Having a month off, dealing with all I've been dealing with. I'm not upset with upset with myself at all. This was one race. I'm not done. You know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the issues you want. Because I'm here to say I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest woman in this game ever, and can't nobody take that from me. 
congratulations to the winner congratulations to the people that won but they not done seeing me yet period i just would have wrote that in my journal i wouldn't have said that <laughs> i would have pressed on tv um in front of lewis um, <laughs> but so she didn't she didn't if we're, if we're honest right what did she Here, say that was wrong? Well, she didn't. Here's the thing. I also think part of the reason she's so emotionally charged is because there are people who, who like, as for for as much positive love that she's been getting on the internet, there have been people who have been so terrible and mean to her. And people see that and like, people act like she's not. How old is she? Twenty. I don't even think she's twenty one yet. She like a young woman you know, prefrontal cortex, still not fully developed and people are throwing hate. So I think also it's like, she knows people want to see her fail. She got out here and the world is watching and she got last place. And it's like, I think also there's a, like a sense of like defensiveness of like, I already know what the internet's going to say. Like, I already know that they're going to go viral. Like you're emotionally charged because it's like to get last in a, a race, Duh. Like and duh. Right. All right. Nationally televised and you know God people. forgive are, me. People, but I watched like, that replay and I was like, damn, at 40 meters, what was she telling herself? Cause Elaine just I mean, she was right next she she was the 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 she was the John Drummond said <laughs> she was the Oreo cookie filling and we all know that we eat the filling first. And I'm not I <laughs> I hate it here. I hate myself for saying that. But like my thought process is at that point in the race, what was she telling herself? But then she still walked off the track and to- and told us, don't count me out. It's just one race. Like, Which, like I'm telling you, there is nothing. More I'm confident not that mentally tough. <laughs> there is nothing more confident and like, to a point where it's it's low key delusional, but in a good way. Like, cause I'm delusional. You have to that be way. delusional like that in this to, business. Because what you're trying to do is impossible. You're trying to be the the fastest woman in the entire world. Also, I would just like to say that I'm not to say something about you. And you right next to it. Ten, Ten five. <laughs> well, she wasn't right next to it, but she was next to it. But like, she was right next to it. Um, no, she no tea. Um, can I say something about your people? Y'all are mean and wild. Like Jamaicans, y'all, y'all on Twitter were not okay. I mean, did I chuckle? Yes, but like it wasn't okay, guys. Y'all are wrong. But like, here's the thing, and and I'm gonna stand up for my people, West Indians, Jamaicans, all of us. If you're gonna talk mess, and again, we enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But you got to expect it to come back your way. And let me tell you who who can chat the chat is <laughs> the Jamaicans. And I even feel like Elaine and uh, Shelly's, they didn't say anything, but they said so much. The no comment said so much. But I also feel like, why are you asking me about? Okay. She curious that, right? If I was, if I had just ran the second fastest time of all time, and you're asking me about someone who got last place in my race, I ain't got no comment either. And that has nothing to do with Shakiri. No comment. That has everything to do with this is my moment, and what the hell are we talking about? No comment. We talking about practice? What? I would open my mouth to talk about last place, and this is like I'm, I'm saying this is about last. This is in a hypothetical. I'm not talking about Shakira. I'm saying. Why are you asking me about so? Shelly said I couldn't see. They said, "How did you feel?" She said, "I couldn't see her." I think <laughs> they said, "How? How?" She said, "I could not see. You can't see someone who's behind you." And this but is no. I sh- seriously I'm, I'm like when you honestly when you ask an athlete about other athletes in their race, I really think it's lazy journalism. It's disrespectful. It's it's lazy journalism. It's you were so focused on this one person that you forgot that I was in this race. It could be any anybody's day. Anybody's like Yeah. Here's the thing. Okay, you talked about her before the race, whatever. Like that was the hype. But after I just went and ran the second fastest time 
is the story still about her? The interview is still about her? This has nothing to do with Shakira. This has everything to do with the media's deciding, okay, like, we're going to prop this person up. And it's like, I just want ballers to ball. And, like, I want ballers to shine. I want ballers to ball. And I want uh, the beast to shine. But I think we... I don't want Shakira to get her bag. And that's what I was getting ready to say. The media also has to pay the bills. And so... You did that before the race. You did that before the race. And here's the thing is, you're going to tell me that a land around the second fastest time isn't a good story? Isn't the story? Everybody was, I mean. Isn't the I mean, the problem is that it, it, Coming into the race, Elaine was like third fastest, fourth fastest, and she still wasn't the story. It was still the Shakari show. So, we're, we're on Track Girl Summer. The story has to be about 10, 10 54. It has to be. It has. That's to- why I was like, before we even get into that, like, I'm going to give Elaine and the Mommy Rocket and Sharika their flowers. And Be Tiana. Honest. I'm the whole field, honestly. And and let us also let me let me also be clear about this too. While we're sitting here talking about one through nine, Shakari still ran eleven fifteen. Yeah, because the girls were in ten five. I'm like trying to, I'm trying to get I'm trying to <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she said, wasn't running slow. She was running with big girls. <laughs> and she was running with a big dog. But what I... Here's the thing is, I, I'm not saying Shakira should get less press. I'm saying give Elaine her flowers, too. Like, I don't yeah. want to take anything from her. I don't want to take any, any food off Shakira's plate. I'm saying these other girls deserve to eat as well. Yeah. And that's why we have to, you know... Have tables here, like track all summer. Um, Wait, what? Aisha, I am I reading this correctly? <laughs> Did I? Am I? Am I interpreting this acronym correctly? I am I, done. I know what it said. I I know what it said. It took me a couple seconds. Um, Max, coming soon to a store near you. Well, not a store, but a shop. We just we just need a bank account, <laughs> and the merch is the merch is coming. We got truck hats, we got t shirts. Guys, one hundred and forty five. We just keep setting new records. Listen, we don't deserve y'all. Okay. I told you, I told you to put put, put this hundred at, at the end. <laughs> we don't deserve y'all. y'all. Okay. We really don't. Thank you. Who for is one of the things? Um, I just. Aisha, first no, of all, Aisha well, is the goat. I first said, of all, I, Aisha, I will not tolerate any type of disrespect to Aisha. Okay, none. Okay, the timestamps on our videos, her. y'all better thank Aisha. Okay, Aisha be hitting me up like, "Hey, we covering this topic? <laughs> hey, when are y'all going live? <laughs> y'all better put some respect on Aisha's name." Here, here's the thing. Um, someone said the thing is the face of U.S. track and field, clearly. Yes and no. There can be multiple faces. Like, there are so many stars in track and field, and that's what makes track and field so amazing because there's so many different events where you can be the best. Like, it's not like basketball where you're like, okay, you are the MVP, and no one else is better than you, Right? It's like we have so many world records being broken. We like that is the point. You know? Everyone can shine. Avengers, okay? Everyone has a role to play. I think that's the crux is like you're trying to make track and field about one person. And it's like, I don't think as great as track and field was when Usain Bolt was running things, I think I think the sport suffered by only having Usain Bolt being the star because if Usain Bolt didn't show up, then no one cared. 
And I think the point of the matter is, is like y'all need to care about when Ryan Krabs was on with throwing at the things. Y'all need to care when a things a things out there doing her thing. Y'all need to care when Shakira's on the track, but y'all should really care when Elaine's on the track. You know what I'm saying? I like think I'm, I'm I, also more excited to see the clashes. Like Yeah. It, it it's not it's not someone dominating anymore. It's we're getting yeah. The three Jamaicans and Shakari, and then Tiana was like, "Ah, ah, ah! Don't forget about me." The women's mm-hmm. two hundred, the four hundred hurdles, men and women. I think the idea that like we're getting like true clashes now, to me, that's what the sport was missing. Where it's like, "Ooh, yeah. I'm excited to see these people go up against one another." Yeah. So. Why don't you I am and talk to her? We're going to, I feel like we we should work to get um, Shakiri on, we, like, guys, we've had, like, 13 episodes. We're going to have several more. We're going to get people on. People are busy writing, filming things with Kanye. Like, I know y'all think we can get anyone and everyone immediately on the show because we have been, but give us a little time. They made Jesse my villain. Um, All right, I'm sure. I told I told Corey oh. that tonight needs to be an hour long. <laughs> We're at an hour and twenty six minutes. Um, we'll take a couple of questions before we go, but um, Natasha, will you be running indoor next year? I'm thinking about it. Um, I haven't run indoor in a while. I wasn't comfortable with indoor because of COVID. Um, but it's possible. Get them Jamaicans on the show. Natasha. Hmm. They said they want the Jamaicans on the show. I actually would love that. I think I can probably get Shelly to come on for sure. Um Don't play with me. But let me um, yeah, hi again. Not Shelly. Yeah. Which one of y'all pisses me off? I thought she was talking about us directly. Um, if you'll watch the thing, I don't think I think it has more to do with like people in her circle than like that breaks my heart that 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 it's people in her circle. If it's people in her circle, she need to let them go. You need to cut it. Um, what the oh, story? Thank you, Kevin. Um. Wait, someone says you're married with child. She is with child, but not married. Not married. We're getting the merch together. Guys, like, guys, it's like, let us. Look, we are struggling. We We don't don't want Shelly Ann. We want Shady Ann from Waterhouse to come on. I love y'all, okay? Oh my God! No one is avoiding Shakiri, and let's not call her the mess. Um, we just—I don't have a connection to Shakiri, but we will try to get her on the show. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. We we ask everybody. Most people tell us yes, but um, yeah. Shakiri's been very busy. She's been booked and busy, but we'll, we'll we're gonna get we're gonna get her. Uh. I wonder why Shakira came back into us. Why why would you get off of social media? Because she's being used. Like, what are, okay. So I'm torn about this, right? What? I'm torn about this. Is Elaine now the GOAT? And I'm going to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why. And let me get my thoughts out. Because I was always told that you, there's a difference between having run 49 and being a 49 runner, right? You have to run 49 several times to be a 49 runner versus you've just run 49. She ran 10-5. So there's the argument that, like, she's got to do it a couple times. But I'm like, nah. 
She ran ten yeah. five, dog. She like, in that garment. like she I touched it. I didn't dream of seeing that. And five in four, my like not five nine, not five eight. She didn't like. She didn't. She went right down to five four. Um, I want to address this. If that TikTok was video was a bad idea, I'm assuming that you're talking about Shakiri's like Nicki Minaj. Um, I took a little time off. Here's the thing: everyone does TikTok videos. It was cute. Like, I do a little TikTok video. Like, let people have fun. Um, and it, and the sound worked exactly with her situation. Will I be running at World Championship this year? Well, I got to make the team. Um, I got to figure out my life. But you know, she's gonna try. She's gonna give it her best. Um. Asking for Shakira on the show. I literally meant, how would you keep the focus on Shelly without bringing up Shakira? I'm not calling her. I don't disrespect her. I mean, I think Shelly has done several things in the sport before Shakira even touched, touched down to where you can talk to a person about her whole entire life, her journey, her career. Without bring up another athlete. Let's talk about Shakiri. We're open to that too, but like, you're not lazy journalists. Are we journalists? I don't know what we are. We're a hot mess. Um, thank you. That's what TikTok. I did my little TikToks. I think Corey would agree with this. What? We go to me as I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is definitely go. Um, most of say that's yeah, it's Edna Moses and Allison Michelle Felix. Don't play with me. I'm biased and I don't care. Um, someone wants Sharika on. I want Sharika on too. Let ooh, I want Sharika. I want all the Jamaicans on at once. I don't know how we do that, but like I feel like it would be fun. Actually, you probably wouldn't what? understand what's going on, but. Yeah, I, I just realized that what I just said. But you know what? Oh, those are That's terrible. not what Yeah, hey, good on the show. She's been No, Tiana definitely is coming on the show. Like she doesn't really have an option. Um You guys you guys, you know what, just keep commenting who you guys want on the show. We'll work on it. She might um Well guys, I love y'all. But it's a, yeah. It's a hundred and forty six of y'all in here. Um, also, I forgot to say, so Rob sent us a super chat, so thank you, Rob. Thank we you, Rob. It was a while ago. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I need, I need a snack too. Um, y'all, it is late. Okay, I almost gave my time zone away. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I like you, like. Like the paparazzi gonna pop out to your front door, Natasha. I'm gonna tell y'all where she's at. Um, not till you get here. Me, your location. (laughs) But um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for staying up this late with us. Thank you for. I started off. All of y'all staying in this long. We purposely kept the tea for the end because we was like, we need y'all to stay in here, but. Um, follow me, follow the Corey monster. Most importantly, follow track girl summer. We'll be back on Wednesday. We don't know what time yet. And there's 146 y'all in this live, which means there's needs to be 146. If y'all subscribe to track girl summers by the end of tonight and likes like the video, share the video. Why do people think I look like man? I do not see it. Um, but yeah, follow us. Send Tiana Daniel some money and some roses. Um, buy her merch. Um, support track and field. Buy Tiana Daniel's merch because we can't buy ours. And that's going to be the show. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. Thanks for joining. Oh, that's not my uh, mouse pad. <laughs>